Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I want to have a quick look at Brett OS Risk Five on the Orange Pi RV2. So here is the website of Brett OS. You can go to download now. You can search for your device. So in this case, the Orange Pi RV2. And then you can uh, download the image. Now you can also get in touch with the Red OS team. It's not a big team, but uh, you can find them uh, mainly on Discord. And they are very responsive there. So um first thing so let's just say we're currently running linux kernel 6.15.2 so that's quite up to date and i think that is in the uh, spirit of uh, arch because brett os is based on arch linux Now I've tried to benchmark GLMark2 ES2 for embedded systems. Uh, we don't have the full OpenGL, unfortunately. Uh, we're still waiting for a proper GPU driver. But here you can see some of the numbers and we get a total score of 394. And yeah, one other thing at the moment, um, we don't have working audio. Now I'm running it in Dutch just uh, as a test. So you can see there's only dummy output, so that's not really working. And uh, just to give you some more information. It's uh, running on Wayland GNOME 48. So as I said, we only have OpenGL ES. So usually I try to run WebGL Aquarium. But as you can see here, that's not working, unfortunately. So let's move on to the things that are working. So I built Olama uh, based on this repository. And I'll put a link uh, to one of my earlier videos where I explained uh, how to build it. So, yeah, once you've built it, uh, then you can try to run it. So I've been a little bit lazy, didn't do a full install. So, um, I don't know, uh, for Olama, that's not necessary to do it like that. Oh yeah, so I need to install the packages Go and CMake to build Olama and once that is done so you can try to fully install it and then you don't need to do this step but like I said I was a little bit lazy um, oh yeah so we start the server in one session and then we can run Olama in another one. So for instance, Gemma 2, 2 billion parameters. Uh, 
and then I can also show you the system monitor So, oh. what is the highest mountain on earth? And now you can see that it fully loads the CPU. So it's not very fast, but uh, at least it's working. So now we can stop the Olama server. So one of the other things that I tried was uh, Docker but only the hello world example. So yeah, with risk five, then not every script will work because not all the components are available for risk five, but um, this is a situation that probably will improve over time. So, but let's try the hello world example um, yeah, you can install it uh, just like this. Well, I mean, I already installed it, but uh, that's interesting. No, I don't need to install it again. So we can start the daemon in one session. And then we can start the hello world example in another one. So here you see hello from Docker. So that seems to be working as well. So now we just stop the daemon. Okay. So one other thing that I also tested is box 64. So that is a Linux user space x86 64 emulator that also works on risk 5 and here are the compilation instructions it's not that complicated um don't do it exactly like this because here it says like options. So uh, yeah, so these are the options for risk five. And once you've built it, 
then you might want to get the x86 libraries and then just uh, yep follow the instructions that you see here so well yep we're here uh, there are instructions for arch so that's a good thing for brett os and then just uh, run this script that will create an archive and then run this command so if we have a look at uh, box 64 so here you see that there is a script now usually i try to test uh, the game 2048 but that wasn't working so uh, like this yeah like this so it has an issue what looks to be something with audio so i'm not really sure if it's because we don't have a working audio device but then I thought, let's try to find something uh, even simpler. And uh, yeah, it might be that you have to uh, install Fuse 2. Um, no. to make it work with uh, app images or at least being able to extract app images on the fly so I don't need to install it again uh, so I wanted to have something fairly simple so I found Hessen uh, and it was a little bit of a yeah, changing the URL to get to the download and then I just uh, hmm, that's interesting uh, yeah that's one of the problems that we have so let's see Oh yeah, just um, do it like this. And then you can go to the releases. So I don't know if the amount of tabs that are open if that impacts the performance because usually it's not this slow it's it's not fast but now it seems to be rather slow so let's just see if we go here yeah so and I just went with this one and then you can download the app image and uh, don't forget to set the executable flag for the app image so now if we try hash some let's close this one okay so yeah it's not 
working without issues, but let's just say if we want to check a file. And last time I tried this, it did work. Yeah, it just takes a while until the file requester opens. So let's just say we just want to have the hash for the program itself. And then you can see that it gives you the hash. So this looks like it is working. So box 64 is also working. Oops. Now, yeah, like I said, Brett OS, it's a small team. So um, I think they have released an image for, I think it was the Milk 5 Mars. So I think this is, perhaps their second risk five image. Uh, so yeah, that they still need to improve a couple of things, uh, for instance, like uh, these icons here. I mean, like they do work, but uh, they are not scaled properly. Anyway, one last thing, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So. I wanted to see, like, is there a simple game that we can try? And then I saw that Beneath a Steel Sky is available in the repository. So you can uh, install it like this. So I don't need to install it again. And Beneath the Steel Sky runs on the Scum VM uh, engine. So if we start it like this, and uh, well, we don't have sound, so that's a pity. But um, other than that, it seems to be working. And um, yeah, this is a very old game, so wasn't really designed with a, a full screen 1080p resolution. So let's see. Okay, so here we are in the game. Ah, well, unfortunately, we do not hear what he is saying. But other than that, that um, seems to be working. Control Q exits the game. So this was just a quick look at Brett OS on the Orange Pi RV2 Risk Five SBC. Uh, yeah, a lot of things are already working. You can try to build uh, some software from source, like we did with Olama and Box64. And uh, yeah, some simple x86 emulation is also working. So I think that's not a bad start. And hopefully we'll, we'll see some more releases from Brett OS for RISC-V. So this is all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.